So the timing of the injuries for North Melbourne, a key to just what will happen to them. Rock is missing again today, back after injury, and going down last week at the SCG. Very tight in the centre there, you can see man on man. Start of the second term then. Wine superbly down. Cameron fumbled. Schwass did well in a tight situation and still he goes. Boots it across half back. Stevens leads in the race out there. Keeps it in front. Beveridge did he get to his back? Not according to the umpire. Thorpe did well. Knocked it across towards Grant. Grant confronted by Crocker. At close quarters got it to Kellett. Kellett boots it inside the 50. Blakey goes back and again a timely defensive mark. He's been terrific John Blakey today. One of the best. Three marks and six possessions. Tickers to centre wing, Wine. Hunter, two. On to Kellett. One of the Footscray boosters, the underground job. Cameron, who can kick long. And so on this occasion, looks for a lead down the forward pocket. He was looking for Thorpe or Martin. Oh. He was deliberately for the boundary line. Disguised it not too that well, but it's going to be a throw. The game umpire to penalise that, but I think the intention was quite clear. So Footscray in attack again. Leading at the first chain. Grigic and Mann. Grigic wins it to the advantage of his side out in front. West an opportunity. Grabbed by Blakey. Gee, that could have been a free kick. He's got to get it. No, he can't get it. And up by Brian Sheehan. will bounce it. Footscray not overawed. Well, the situation, North Melbourne. And nothing to lose today, Don, have they, really? Well, they've got top pay, uh, place of spot here at uh, stake here in North Melbourne. Yes, but Footscray can't make the finals and uh, the pressure's not on them. And there's another free kick and this could be a goal. Well, I'd like to see that again. Well, he was pushed out, Grigio, as he went for that uh, bounce down. My man, man caught behind. And just watch this in replay. See how man pushed him out with the left hand, then hit with the right. Can't afford to do those. Ilya Grigic has kicked two goals, one. And he played nine AFL games. He's kicked 15 goals overall. Make that 16 now, and the Bulldogs go further ahead. Three goals to Ilya Grigic, who's been a thought on North Melbourne side already. The Bulldogs 6-6, North Melbourne 4-2. Now, what man should have done here was get opposite the umpire, not try and match it with the big fellow. He knows he's not going to out-bustle him. He's too tall. As soon as he gets into that situation to make a contest on it, he's going to go for the free kick, which he did do, man. He's got a good leap, man. He should use it. Rickich has booted three goals, and Footscray now the last five goals in the contest. A very handy lead, 6-6 to 4-2. Changing story. It'll be that way throughout this round, but this afternoon as well. I guess as things stand, Carlton are looking like the season's top qualifiers as the ball is out of bounds on the outer side. Who would have thought that? Robert Parker. But hours to go yet. Just a terrific finish. Ashenko and wind. It falls behind. Atkins, little toe poke, kill it. Certainly the appetite. Far greater from Footscray. Atkins deliberate to a Cameron. Cameron storms up the ground to Quill. The hand pass not particularly good. It held him up. He kicks for space. The big man. Oh, not again. Oh. Oh. Well, Mark Wall couldn't have done it better. <laughs> oh. And Quill did so well, too. What great mobility. There he is, the big fellow. That's a lot of beef in midair. <laughs> Watch <laughs> this. Pass. Here it is. Oh, stretching out. Terrific stuff. Sensational mark by Lee Grigich. Well, he's had some goalkeeping practice. It looked like a, a Schwarzer save, didn't it? Certainly did. So here he is, directly in front. Kicking at his fourth. Oh, and he's missed. Well, he should have done better from there. And that would have made it very awkward, even at this early stage, for North. They're off the pace to the tune of 17 points now. Ross Smith, Victorian representative this year, kicks in to the outer side. Roberts the target. Didn't mark it, but comes up with a football onto Martin. Across his body round the centre wing, only to see Darcy in the row. The change has been made. Man's now gone on to Sexton, and Martin is picking up Griggin. Kellett. He's doing very well. Kellett, too. Kellett's been terrific. 
five and two. This will be kick number six. Kevin kicks into the forward pocket. Man should go the spoil this time and does. And we'll see West on the end of it. Snapshot with the left foot. We'll go close. Grigic again. Well, can't mark it this time. Grant has kicked a beauty. Well, everything going Footscray's way. Grigic nearly pulled down that mark. Terrific attempt. But then Grant. He's been pretty quiet. So he has been, but he really did seize this opportunity. If we watch here, this one nearly sailed through too by West. Look, Grigid nearly took it, but Grant roving. And he is six foot five. He's a good effort by Grant. Terry Wheel up. Looks on. No doubt pretty happy with what's happening at the present time. Darcy almost the mark. Allison. Charged down superbly by Darcy, who got back into the contest. German didn't do much with it. Clarkson's got it in front. Standing his ground, Blakey. They've got two few goers at the present time, North Melbourne. Atkins through the middle, thumps it down towards Harford. Crocker, he certainly won. Schwass is over the ball, was pushed in the back, and he'll get the free kick. Oh, and Tui, not very happy about all of that. 7 7 to 4 2. 20 minutes till half time. Schwass. Lays it off to Blakey. A little indecisive. It comes back to Laidley. He scrambles a kick to Harford. Romero waits. In comes Quill. Play on's the call. Well, Romero, unless it was touched, should have got a free kick. A wry smile from Jose. It's interesting to see what Martin is now doing to Grigg. He's running off him. He's provided an option there. So that's a good ploy. That's something that Mann didn't do. So it's going to make Grigg think he's got to keep up with Martin. To try and pinch his gloves. This is why. Tui, knocked away by Schwass. Roberts against the flow, still in the centre square. Manowitz full forward, Carey works in front. Couldn't complete the mark. He's arguing with the umpire. They'd be asking a question too. Stanford breaks. Should have been chasing his opponent back. There's Quill, quite right. Quill has the ball on the wing. Manowitz half forward. North looking very untidy at the moment. This is Thorpe. He had disciplined play from Carey. He was chasing the umpire and his opponent was 30 yards away with the football. Well, that's the second time Thorpe's just nudged Deanley out, Deanley, out of the action just before taking the mark. He didn't get on the other end. It was well done by Thorpe. Ben Sexton has kicked one goal two today. 48 metres out. Need to bend it back. He has maybe too much. So he's kicked one goal three. Nice drawn one iron shot there. Would have finished on the left hand side of the fairway. 7 8, the Footscray total now. And Dennis Pagan, the North Melbourne coach, would be well, a little bit worried at the moment after a good start. Things have gone sour for the Roos because they've lost the lead and they've also lost John Longmire, the former Coleman medalist. Why not? Oh, terrific mark in from the side onto Cameron. No mark taken by Sexton. Ball spills free in front of the pack, enables Roberts to do the tidying up work and had more time than he really should have been allowed. Kicks over the head of Hunter, fisted on by Keary. Opportunity Smart. for Allison, Smart. who can kick a goal from there. One bounce, two bounce, he'll go all the way. Six points to the Roos coming up. Allison gets his second, and just what North Melbourne needed when things were looking black for the Roos. 7 8 to 5 2, 18 points the difference. I hope we get this on replay. The hit on by Carey. Now, watch this one. No, we didn't see it. Just a little early, but what terrific play by Carey. He opened that right up. He was out of position himself. Got a fist to it, sent it on. Allowed Allison to get on there. Just a good game of football, this one at the present time. Up goes Wine to win it down. Scholl sockers it off the cricket pitch area. Wide. Darcy in front did brilliantly. Knocked it to his own advantage. Still he goes, Darcy. He's a comer. Sockers it down towards half forward. It's one, wide and out of bounds. One area where North Melbourne are doing well is in that centre square. They're cutting off a lot of uh, the Footscray attacks. Wine's getting his hand to the ball. They're all going forward, the Footscray midfielders or the guys in the centre there but they're not getting the ball it's North Melbourne cutting it out Wine doing well on Ashenko directed it down Atkins standing kick inside the 50 up comes Thorpe it bounces away from him and goes out of bounds Hyman coming on Clarkson I think it was going off for North Melbourne so Hyman obviously going to midfield so Clarkson had to jump on Atkinson 
Robert Pyman, the sixth man taken in last November's draft. He came from Woodville West Torrens. Grant, Crocker dragged him down, lately against the flow, pumps it back towards the outer side. Terrific Mark Archer for his size. He's a very good man overhead. Swings it across the ground. Well, that was the place it could not go between the two North players. And Peter Quill, the West Australian, takes the mark. Vital place to take a mark two and time. Puts Gray again into attack. Nicholson kicks towards the right half forward flank. No mark taken there. Stevens, German, Blakey, and now Archer. And North Melbourne. Carey looking for something. Man on the forward line. Forward, yes. And that man is man. Roberts has gone back on the back line. He's picking up uh, Sexton at full back. Martin still in the back pocket on Grigich. And Mann, who had the job on Grigich early on, getting this chess mark. Maybe his name is a centre-half forward for Claremont in WA, but of course, coming with this team, no chance of playing there. Not much. As Carey was injured. He's kicked accurately to go. North coming back. Got a lot of ability, man. If you want to put it into top gear, he really would be a good player. He's got a good brain, football brain. He's got great athleticism for his size. Here he is. He's just got to realise his potential. Just under 16 minutes till half time. And the margin back to 12 points. Romero out of the middle, so North putting a shake on now, no doubt realising the gravity of the situation. Archer collided out there with Allison, left to tidy up his Hawkins. Still he goes on the other side, needs to kick it and does. High one down towards half forward, Smith goes up, oh, terrific now. What a defender, one of the best in the competition. Lays it off to Laidley, Laidley goes down towards half forward, in front Archer again. And you can sense that North Melbourne have steeled themselves now. They sense the challenge. They sense it's for the season in many respects. Across the ground, Ashenko goes up, takes the mark. They've lifted collectively. But Footscray have shown plenty this afternoon so far. So you get the feeling they're not going to go away. There's Carey. Here's Ashenko. A kick from right on the 50. Big Alex. Kicks. It's a good-looking effort, too. It's a goal. The Kangaroos come bounding back. The difference a few minutes back was 18 points. It's now been cut to six, Don. Yes, and what this does, not... And also, the goal's good for North Melbourne. What it'll do for North Melbourne, too, is drag. If Oshinko can drop back there, will make Wine pick him up because Wine, uh, Wine's a bit of a problem across half-back when he's drifting. There he is there. But if Oshinko can get there, he'll drag Wine out. 36 career goals from 108 matches for Alex Oshinko as North Melbourne get to within a kick that trailed by three goals only five minutes ago. It's going to be another bounce. It's sent it very hard to him. Yes, it's rock hard after the weather we've had in Melbourne in the last few days. And six or seven days with temperatures 20 degrees or more. If the bounces in the... Uh, middle there would be hard to handle. Kevitt, you're looking for a good bounce here, gets it. Almost taken by Shaw. Backs himself speed-wise and gets caught. Well, he did well initially. Beveridge kicks to half forward. Punch down to West. Onto Atkins. Spiral punt kick. Travels a good 60 metres. Could almost be a score, but Roberts getting back, as Don said, now playing in defence to take the mark. And the refrigerator kicks to the Pyman. Then it goes to Blakey. Onto Romero. Romero from left half back flank. Long kick up towards centre wing position. Carey can't make, uh, can't take the mark. Off the way by Stanfield. Onto McAdam, who's been quiet so far. Two on two to oh. Archer! Courage. That's his mark. Well, play at both ends of the ground. He's lined up on some of the top forwards in the competition this year. Good aerialist, fine hands, and drags down a good mark and a chance to level the scores. 13 minutes left before half time. And Archer hasn't scored a goal today, but he's taken four marks, and this will be his sixth kick. Oh. 
Oh, good run-up. Didn't attack that confidently at all. That's a mark. Carey's been painted right next to the behind post. And the supporter's happy about that. Now, what's he going to do here? Banana kick, or will he look for a lead? Actually, it's good play by the Footscray player. Positioning himself, that's Hunter. See, Hunter, as soon as Carey, if he's going to deviate off the straight line towards goal, Hunter can run in. It's good positioning by Hunter. It's like a banana kick. What's he done? From behind. Not as good as Ilya Grigic. Swing Carey's tally. Two goals, one. And North Melbourne tried by five points. Great play by Hunter. Doug Hawkins. Trips in short. This is Hunter. Picks it up very wide. Little open space. Nicholson. Again, full back. Has it forward of right half back. Goes for distance. Down towards half forward. Wide. Good mark. On his knees. Tries to get it across to West. West surrounded to Atkins though. 60 metres out. Hurried kick down towards the kickoff line. Grigich appeared to be... Now, there's that free... Yes, exactly right, Dennis. So, Grigich will get the free. And Grigich is a little surprised because he didn't think the free kick was on either. Now, watch this. Look at Laidley take his eyes off the ball. He impeded Grigich in the run for the ball. And that is the free kick. Laidley knew he'd done something wrong, but Grigich didn't realise that the umpire was going to give him the free. Oh, tough old school for Dean Laidley. The umpire runs into him now. Coming off that... I suppose you'd say be thankful for small mercies after hitting Grigic initially, and Grigic gets his fourth. And David Howard played the free kick against Dean Lately, which came up pretty well on screen. Couldn't argue with that. As he was shepherded out of the contest, the ball not with in the required distance. Here it is once more. Lately just props, doesn't he? See there the free kick. Got an interesting kicking style. Grigic seems to let the ball drop onto his boot. Takes both hands off the ball. He doesn't guide it down. You've got to admire the right Laidley's, hand. Laidley's courage. You've got to admire that, don't you? Courage. I've seen Grigic bearing down <laughs> and deciding you will ship him out. Four goals today and 17 career goals. Really, a Grigic. Oh, beautifully done. Down to Liberatore for Wine. The two Brownlow medalists from Footscray combining superbly. Thorpe will get there first at right half forward flank. Looking for someone to give it to. Kicks across his body into the pocket. Liberatore had moved down well. Doesn't get the required bounce. Oh, Roberts had a bounce deliberately. And it will be a free kick. Great stuff by Liberatore. Was it? Superb. Like a stall gift winner to get down there. So Liberatore with the free kick. Difficult angle. Took a heavy knock last week against uh, Peter Wilson. Kick is across the face. Grigic's taken out. Oh, it's a free kick. Up a free kick. Oh, is he having a hot, hot patch? Well, he's got four goals, too, and Mickey Martin having a few words to Brian Sheehan. No, Mitch. <laughs> Won't change the decision. You see, he's you know, pushing him out as he's flying. <laughs> was there much in that goal? Oh, yes, he was balancing himself. Pretty tough call, I reckon. So Grigic, who's kicked four goals, too, you would have to say would kick... Another one, and he has done. 5-2 to Ilya Grigic. Mickey Martin still can't believe it. 9-8 to 7-3 at the MCG. So what happened in actual, actual fact, which made it look worse, was Grigic was just going off the ground at the critical stage. Had he have had two foot planted on the ground, he probably wouldn't have drawn the umpire's attention to the fact of the free kick. Melbourne runner Russell Green was out there and I think one of the umpires spoke to him or more particularly he may have gone out there to seek out one of the umpires. In any case it's back in the middle. Wine gets it down. Liberatore drags to ground. German to Pyman. High kick towards half forward. Allison goes up. Couldn't hang on. This is Tui. Nicely done. Darcy comes away. Boots it down towards half forward. Atkins goes back with courage. Trying to crash his way through was Blakey. Grant dives into his back and it will be a bounce. Atkins is hurt. He's had a lot of courage there. Right on the elbow. Mm. Well, Footscray have been superb this afternoon. Their final appearance of the season. And they're determined to make it memorable.
One down by Wine. Hyman's kick is smothered by Wine. Kellett has been very good. Boots it towards half forward. Timely fist from Crocker. Taken by West to Atkins. He's recuperated from 52 metres out. It looks good. It's a goal. They hit the uh, post. post. Good well, shot. It was wrestling down there that time between Martin and Grigich, and I suppose it begs the question, that last free kick to Grigich, some of the wrestling and pushing and shoving we see, and then a free kick is paid for that. I'm not saying it wasn't there, but it seems a remarkable double standard. So the kick in to be taken by Smith. It's 60 metres with that kick. Grigich in front, takes the mark, and might have got another one. Too far out to score, you'd suggest. Hunter giving him some advice. Maybe to go short, which he does. Quill. Sexton on a lead. Marks in front of Martin, but on an acute angle, right next to the boundary line. And Mickey Martin still barking instructions, a la a traffic policeman. Telling somebody else to pick Brigitte up. Fair enough. Another, Very good idea. A lot of poise, this Footscray side at the moment. Sexton should get the distance and does. Oh, what a terrific kick for a goal! The Bulldogs are on fire. They're barking. And Footscray go further ahead. 10-9 to 7-3. Well, three goals, two. 3-1 three, three last week, Sexton. He's certainly something up forward. The build-up. And Quill. Quill's been really very, very impressive in setting up a lot of forward play, especially with his foot passing. He's very quick over the ground. And that time he found Sexton. Just over eight minutes till half time. Here's Schwass. A remarkable term, this one. A terrific term. Footscray started well. North Melbourne got right back into it. And then Footscray and kicked away again. 69 plays 45. 10 9 to 7 3. There's Doug Hawkins. Anthony Rock, they're missing his drive this afternoon. They've got a Shinko now at full forward. Man, half forward. I wonder if Kerry's going to go onto the ball. Well done by Wine, directing it down to Hawkins. Hawkins trying to burrow his way through, then slaps it out of bounds, and the umpire decides that was deliberate. Allison will get the free kick. In fact, it's coming across now to Schwoss. Schwoss, on his natural side, will kick from 55 metres out, goes for the kickoff line as Schenko is down there, and as Schenko's taken the mark. So Grigich at one end, as Schenko at the other. Wine and Archer, now Carey and Kellett, and now Wine and Carey. Well, there's Archer and Hawkins at it. I think he had Archer pinned for the required three seconds. That was a four. And now they're good buddies at the back of there. And Wine should have been back blocking that of uh, Oshenko. I oh. think he's missed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alex has missed. In 15 metres out, it is very hard to keep up with this. There's plenty happening at the MCG. It's a good mark. And there's Whoa. Ryan coming through, but he should have been in front to block that or the behind. North, the North players have got every reason to be upset, though. The Hawk kicks in, finds Quill. And a count. And a two. Two at right half back. Looks for options. Could have gone for the kick. Goes for the hand pass. On the end of it is Barry Stanfield. Footscray play got taken down behind play. Play continues, and Thorpe has taken the mark 60 metres out from the goal and right half forward. There is plenty happening on the MCG. Good game of football. Finals type atmosphere without a huge crowd. Thorpe's kick is not a good one. Oh, oh no. Well, you could say it was a pass, but oh, it looked pretty ugly off the boot, didn't it? Grigic. Oh, look at this. To Grant. And Grigic has kicked a four. He's kicked five. I don't know whether the angle's any better. Chris Grant has a smile on his face. I think he marked it a lot closer to goal than that, didn't he? Well, he did, and uh, he's been taken back a long way. Look where the man on the mark is, alongside the behind post. He runs around. be a hard shot from there. He's kicked one, Grant. He's kicked two. Well, they can do nothing wrong, Footscray. Two goals to Chris Grant. And they go to 11-9, leading North Melbourne 7-4. Well, Grigge should have really kicked that one. Because here it is. Now, watch this. Grigge, now that's well within kicking distance. The angle is not as acute as that of Grant. Grant now, this is where Peter says... He calls for it, Don. There. Now, where is... 
Yes, you can see there, you're right, Peter. Well picked up because he was really taken back off the mark then, Grant. So back in the middle, a game and a quarter that's had everything. Cameron tries to crash his way through. This is Stevens. North Melbourne in desperate trouble now as Schenko's the target. Nicholson over the top, fisting away. Darcy, who's been good in defence, on his knees, gets the hand pass off. Nicholson goes down. Some of these youngsters for the Bulldogs learning about this sort of pressurised football now. And a veteran hit the deck, Hawkins. Hunter comes away, chips it out wide. This is Kellett. Kellett runs away from half-back. Pyman's got him. Good pressure, forces That's the That's deliberate, surely. Balls out of bounds, it'll be thrown in. It's an ill-tempered affair, this now. I suppose another danger looms for North. They could ill afford any reports. Wine should have got a free. Cameron's got the ball in any case. Little oh. chip pass. Wine got a hand to it. It runs on to Kellett. Ooh, Kellett just missed by Schwoz. This is really hotting up. Relay free kick is it downfield. Yes, Kellett, eight and five. It's quite interesting that exchange then because Kellett went over and patted Swash on the back and said, well, fair enough. And then Liberatore goes over and demonstrates or remonstrates very, very aggressively. So here's Thorpe. Little kick from about 40 metres out. 75 to 46. That's increased. Well, Footscray putting a big dent in North Melbourne's Premiership aspirations now. 12-9 to 7-4. And here's the build-up. There it is. Swashed. And Thorpe started at Sydney, Oakley, now at Footscray. He's gone everywhere. Thorpe gets his first and Footscray go further ahead. And since John Longmire's been on the sidelines, North Melbourne haven't really looked that good. Smith out of the centre for the Roos, kicks to right half forward. Darcy should get there first in front of Allison and will do. No support for him though. Allison was held, could have got a free kick. Carey comes back with it, and North really have to find something quickly. Punch away from Mashenko. It comes to McAdam. Maybe he can supply it. Snapshot is a great one and through for full points. And then again, another remonstration going on at centre half forward. I think that's Ramiro in there with West. Beveridge Oshenko, Nicholson and uh, Ramiro. North, unfortunately, from their point of view, can't afford to fight. They've got to be very careful now. North and they go goal for goal because Footscray had a good lead. That was McCadden's sixth kick. And none more telling than that because it was his first goal and keeps the ruse in this contest. But Footscray throwing a clean pair of heels at the moment. Now, what's going on here? Rebounds. Oh, that's interesting. It was a phantom centre square infringement. So there's the bounce. One down by Ashenko. Atkins out of the middle. Down towards half four. Thorpe leads in the race. Clean grab to the Grant. He measures the kick from 45 minutes oh. on. It's bending back. It's a goal. Oh, this is a feast at the MCG. Grant's third goal. And they're all coming this the second quarter, but that was like a training routine. You see there, Terry Wallace very happy. Terry Wheeler also very happy, rubbing his hands. But Thorpe hit the ball really well. Could have gone on the left foot because there's a natural left foot. Uh, but realised he could have been blocked there by the North Melbourne player on his right. Spotted Grant. And he finished off well. The way Footscray are going. And he Terms with premiership aspirations, we'll be glad they're not going to be in the final six. It's the way they're playing today, North in a bit of trouble. Clarkson, that inclusion in the side for Rock, kicks up towards the edge of the square. That's a holding decision going North Melbourne's way. And Allison will take the free kick. 14 free kicks to Footscray, and North Melbourne have 10. Kick us to half forward. No mark taken. Ramiro hits the deck behind play. Kellett, who's been a star in this quarter, doesn't get the belt he wanted. Nicholson over the top. Looks for somebody going past, finds him in the person of Tui, who goes off the ground, it's out of bounds in the middle of the interchange back for a throw on centre wing. Two and a half minutes before half time. 12 to 2. Interesting stat that, isn't it? With the Footscray tall timber doing well. Carey's going to contest this time. North Melbourne without John Longmire on the forward line. 
Wine. Bolo is it back. Ramiro. Oh, is that a charge on West? Some worse paid. Beveridge. A short kick in towards full forward, and the mark has been taken 15 metres in front of goal by Sexton. And then Ramiro looking the worst for wear behind play. Sexton has kicked two goals, three. So no certainty to kick this. 40 metres out. Not a liar on me. He's kicked three goals, three. Footscray going further ahead. So Ben Sexton gets his third. Ramiro limps off the ground. It's 14 9. Footscray, North Melbourne, 8 4. German coming on as Ramiro goes off. But everything going North Melbourne's way. Footscray, oh, I'm sorry, Footscray's way. North Melbourne got back into the game. They're 18 points behind, got in front, and then Footscray have kicked on once again. So the margin out to 41 points. And North, who this season have spent 12 of the past 21 weeks on top of the table, appear unlikely to finish there. Here's West. Well done. Away to Quill. Footscray like a machine at the present time. Atkins gathers the awkward half volley. No, he doesn't. It spills away. Great shepherd by Atkins, though. Quill across his body. And Sexton can't keep it in. So a minute 25 to play till half time. At quarter time, the margin was 10 points. And in this term, North Melbourne, after conceding early goals, got back to only seven points down. Quill goes over the top. Cameron knocks it on. Collides with Schwass, two very talented players, and it's out of bounds once more. Long time since we've seen sunblock used by players in August. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. Throw it in. Ashenko's in front, but Wind has killed him. Socket off the ground by Pyman. It comes across to Beveridge. Kicking in danger. Advantage should be paid. Yes, exactly right. Oh, exactly right. right. It was a belated whistle, so Beveridge was well clear. Wind anyway. Hand passes to Atkins. A high kick. Grant from behind. Almost the mark. In front Thorpe. Was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. So just seconds remaining. The precise 35. Boundary throw in. Brigitte and Martin will contest. Rigich gets uh, front spot. Grant on the burst to oh. the post. Well, that would have been a sensational goal. He's kicked three all in this quarter, and that's his first blemish. 14 10 to 8 4. And again, Ross Smith and the rest of the North Melbourne defence undeceived in the second quarter. Carey makes a lead. It's to the outer side. Grigic in front. Can't take the mark. Pyman a quick kick up towards the centre wing position. Allison feeds off the hand pass well to the run of Clarkson, who's caught with the ball. Libertore comes up with the crumbs. Kick away for Footscray. Oh. And Sexton has got the mark. Will he take oh. the kick? Interesting one, because I thought the ball was in flight. But it's when the umpire indicates the exactly quarter exactly right. Exactly right. The siren had gone before it reached Sexton. Fitting into this quarter, isn't it? Yes, what a quarter it's been. Plenty has happened from 60 or 50 metres. Oh, great goal on the siren. <laughs> ben Sexton has kicked his fourth. And Footscray, looking premiership contenders, cracked the ton. 15-10 to 8-4 at the MCG. And John Longmire will limp off with the rest of his side at half-time. And the scoreboard is a sad sight. But if you're a North fan, it's even sadder seeing a Coleman medalist with a knee injury limping to the dressing room when the side is fighting for top spot come September. So Terry Wheeler, one of the coaches of the year, even though Fitzroy won't make the finals, against a man who has taken North Melbourne to perhaps the brink of a premiership, but September is still to come. It's 15-10 to 8-4 at the MCG.